Hey guys, welcome back to another video with your man Naughty Dogs. When you guys are here, you guys are a part of my pack. I just wanted to show you guys uh, 12 things I wish I would have known when I started playing Graveyard Keeper. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Tip, tip number one, cake. I wish that I knew about this from the early game. It would have helped out tremendously. So, uh, cake you get this from the hillbilly and you can get it right off the bat of the game right off the start all you gotta do is come over here and talk to the hillbilly but the reason why it's so good is because it gives you it will max out your energy every time you eat it so it comes very helpful in the beginning because you're gonna be destroying yourself when it comes to energy costs so just come over here and talk to him there's gonna be some dialogue but uh, what he's gonna want in the end is you to gather him five jars of honey now that's really simple to get I'll show you later on in this video coming up uh, how to get that honey but um, for the time being I really want to talk about the cake <clears throat> so you're gonna have to make uh, pastry dough which is just wheat turned into flour with water you're gonna need to get water from your well it's right in front of your house and you're also going to need some eggs and some milk. I'm about to show you guys how to get the eggs and the milk because the cake is amazing. I forgot to tell you guys too, it also gives you a buff when it comes to researching stuff in the study table. So I highly recommend this to get the maximum amount of blue points from items that when you study them later down in the road. So you're going to follow this road down and right here in this little basket, that's where you're going to buy the eggs. You can only buy five a day, but they replenish every day. So I, I would advise like stacking up on it a little bit so you don't have to worry about it. And then I'm going to show you guys where to get the milk. Uh, there's the bar right there. Just go straight up. Boom. Right there. Talk to her. And you can buy milk from her. You can buy the milk jug of milk or you can buy a bucket. I recommend if you have the money to buy the bucket. Because you can buy the bucket and then break it down like water and you get five jugs. It's way more convenient, more compact. Just break it down just like water, boom, five jugs right there. And then you don't have to worry about anything else, which is great. So, I'm going to show you guys real quick about this. Um, you're also going to need for the cake recipe, um, like I said before, the pastry dough, the honey, and you need to collect some berries, which you can do that really quickly and fun. I mean, you can stockpile them a lot too. Uh, it's the best thing before you start making the easiest thing before you start making uh, Berry pies and stuff like that later down the road But um, it'll help tremendously. I'm gonna show you guys what I was talking about before uh, Where to get that honey? So you're just gonna follow this road and go up and The honey is gonna be over here is one honey tree and then over here is another one and that's how you collect the honey. That's where the honey is. There's more up further down, but I'll talk about that later. And uh, they replenish themselves as infinite. Tip number two, energy. I mean, self-explanatory. It's going to be a killer when you first start the game. Um, that's why I was saying that. But for in the meantime, between all that stuff, you can just pick these flowers and get eat some energy. You're going to have to pick a lot, but they cost a lot of energy to make anyways to like pick them. So uh, you could do that, but I recommend like getting like these berries over here or uh, I mean they get we get more for your bang for your buck when it comes to the berries. But I also recommend highly um, just like off the bat for uh, these apple trees. You collect it from one tree and you get 15 apples and they give you X amount of energy. And then you can also cook those apples up and uh, bake them so and get more energy f for them all right my, on to the next tip teleportation that's right you can talk to Hordrick over here at the bar and he's got a teleportation stone for sale cost two silver I highly recommend that you guys get this as soon as possible it'll make your life a lot easier you could just like instant an instant get, go somewhere else I'm gonna teleport right now to the house I'm going to show you guys how this works. Boom. I'm at the house. I'm already home. I don't have to worry about all that walking. Now there's going to be a cool down. I think it's about a half day. Could be up to a day. I'm not 100% sure on the time frame on that. Um, but, I mean, it'll just recharge and you can use it later. So, 
um, it's never gonna go away once you once you buy it. It's pretty much what I'm trying to get at. So I highly recommend that you guys get that as soon as possible. Going on to the next tip, blood and fat. So this is a research tab that you can get. Um, it's called Soft Spares. I highly recommend you unlock that as quick as possible. So that's going to help you out tremendously when it comes to the graveyard uh, for bodies. Now you take blood away, it's always going to take one red skull away. Always. Same thing with the fat. You take the fat out, one red skull goes away. Now let's say there's not any more red skulls. There's only one red skull to begin with. Well, it'll just add a white skull. That's going to help you a lot when it comes to the beginning, having to boost up your your uh, graveyard for the church. On to the next tip, blue points. Everybody wants them. Everybody <laughs> needs them. Uh, it's always a pain in the butt. So I recommend that you guys unlock writing and unlock making paper over here. Uh, so you can make paper to get science, okay? At the study table, you deconstruct it and you get science. Then you can use the paper to write and write chapters and everything. And, the cha and writing in the chapters gives you blue points. And it's, a, it's, it's, it's really nice. Sometimes I would just grind that out, just make a bunch of stuff just to get blue points real quick. And uh, yeah, that's how you do that. And then, but also I needed to tell you guys, um, you can make pigskin paper, not, you can get them for skin or you can get it from bats. So you just kill some bats, stack some bat wings up and you got a bunch of skin paper that you can make into clean paper. And you could turn these into books and chapters like I was saying before, and it's gonna help you guys out. Another thing for blue points, after you eat the cake, because the cake gives you a boost when you study stuff and gives you more points, study everything that does with the graveyard, that, that goes with it. All these markers and gravestones and hedges and, and everything, like that gives you the most amount of blue points, especially when you eat that cake and have that buff on. You're going to jump from like 0 to 100 to 150. It's crazy. Next tip, unlocking the quarry. Okay, that should be another thing that you guys should be focused on in the beginning of the game. It's going to cost a couple of things. You might have to grind to unlock the tech and, and get the pieces, but once you finally do unlock it, stupid bat, once you finally uh, do unlock it, you're going to follow the path up here, and uh, there's going to be a turn off. You're going to keep going through there. There's going to be a river across the bridge, and then you go up and left and there's gonna be an opening just follow that I'm just gonna teleport there because I don't want this video to last too long so finally getting out here there's gonna be a bunch of stuff first thing I want to talk about are these right here make two furnaces when you get up here there's a blueprint and everything make two furnaces that's marble that's gonna be stone and over there is ore iron ore and then over here is gonna be coal but make those two furnaces you want them things burning you know what I mean you want to grind out as much of that metal you don't have to worry about any of that stuff and you could just come back here collect it bring it back home simple and with the teleportation stone tip number seven alchemy there's gonna be this bridge right next to your graveyard it's gonna be closed you're gonna have to get the parts to open it I recommend that I'm gonna show you guys uh, where the witch is I'm not going to tell you guys the path. I have another video for that. You can watch that if you want, or you can try to figure it out on your own. Um, but you walk over here and talk to the witch. And whenever you talk to her, dialogue is going to pop up, and she's going to give you uh, blueprints and everything for alchemy. She'll unlock it for you. And I highly recommend that because alchemy is going to be used a lot in this game. Now, is once you make the alchemy table, this is the first one. Uh, you're going to unlock Growth Enhancer, used for quality fertilizer, which is going to help out if you're trying to farm. White paint, black paint, you can make your own pen and ink that way. You don't have to buy them from uh, someone else. It's just a bunch of different stuff that you can start and it'll help out a lot with. On to the next tip, money. That's right. So I found, I wish I would have known this. I found that simple iron parts actually sell for a decent amount of money. 
and you're easy, easy, easy to make, especially when you have those two furnaces churning iron for you. Okay, guys? And uh, there's a couple other things that you can do, but <laughs> honestly, like, that was... I wish I really would have known that in the beginning. Um, you uh, should unlock this tech tree right here. It's going to be prayer for donations. And once you make that prayer, when you do sermons in the mor and, and every Sunday, you're going to get a lot more money. I'm talking like probably like 55 gold, or not gold, but silver, 44 silver, It's depending on your quality. Or you can sell uh, some uh, fruits and vegetables, I guess vegetables really, um, like onions and stuff like that, or wheat or flour, or whatever you want really whatever you want to grow in excess uh, I'm going to show you guys exactly where the blacksmith is and he's going to be down here and because uh, I didn't know for a little bit where he was had to navigate a little bit um, I'm just going to show you guys about how much money you can get from selling these simple iron parts which is awesome look at that look at all that silver and you can use that silver to buy that teleportation stone. All right, number nine, cremation. Now, I didn't know how this worked in the beginning, but instead of having to throw your bodies that you don't need in the water, you could just burn them and you'll still get the burial certificate. And you'll get some much needed items from them as well. Otherwise that you would find down in the dungeon. So you just burn these bodies, you get the burial certificate, you're gonna get ash and you're gonna get salt from burning the bodies that you don't need so you can still make money off these things man don't throw them away guys because you could just burn them burn them all do your own little witch burn turn into the inquisitor yeah and <laughs> look at that two bear certificates which are one and a half silver each so three silver it's not too bad tip number ten clay now I didn't really know where clay I knew where clay was it's gonna there, there's a graveyard and the clay piles right here it's infinite I didn't know where the sand was for a while and I needed to make other stuff for like cementing paste and and other items glass you know you're just gonna go from your graveyard right there follow this river up and you're gonna eventually run into a giant pile of sand and uh, it's very useful good to have stocked on hand I wish I would have known about that, that place it took me a lot I was like where the heck sand I couldn't find it uh, just thought I'd let you guys know about that something that I wish I knew and, or you could just go for the house right there straight from the sand next tip number 11 unlocking the path under your basement now once you do that uh, you're gonna go from your house into town in about 10 15 seconds boom we're in town check that out right next to the barn over here right next to everything in the middle of the town it's a quick way to travel number 12 farming so when it comes to farming because you're gonna have to eventually farm you're gonna need to get carrots to get bodies you can't progress without farming always put down fertilizer if you can't make the quality fertilizer, you don't have an, uh, that unlocked, or you're not that far, that's okay. Put down some peat. Anything. Peat's a great way to start fertilizing, but always put down fertilizer. Get peat from these composite bins over here with crop waste. You're going to put down fertilizer. You're going to get a lot more seeds. You're not going to have to keep buying them. We'll just keep replenishing which you already have or make more so you can plant even more vegetables now I'm gonna show you guys exactly where to get these seeds but uh, I also wanted to oh, see go down here yes these they where the seeds are the carrot seeds and everything but I also wanted to say that if you guys enjoyed this video uh, please leave a like comment down below on anything that you might want to see guys in the future I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. Um, hit subscribe for more videos that you guys want if you enjoyed this or if it was helpful. Um, just, you know, communicate with me and let me know what kind of content that you guys enjoy. I hope this helped out a lot, guys. 
And I really appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this video. It really means a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one.